welcome. Introduce yourself. Tell us where you're from. Shout out to your city. My name is Juan G's from Detroit, Atlanta. It's been my growing space, so that's where we're at. Okay. Yes, yeah. So how did you like Solid State Studios? How was the energy? Is this the type of place Oh, it was you beautiful. At, or? It was beautiful. Solid State Studios got um they got space for literally everything that you might need to do or want to do. I got any ambition to do podcast room, multiple studio rooms, anything you know, live band, everything, man. It was an overall ten out of ten experience for sure. Mm. Yeah. I agree, obviously. So, who would you say are some of your biggest inspirations as an artist? As an artist, oh man, um, Pimp C was my role model. Okay. <laughs> Pimp okay. C was my role model. Big Boy was like my, um, that was like my just, I don't know, I guess like all time favorite rapper. Uh, and as an artist, and we, uh, you know, we got to go with Kanye. Gotta go with Kanye. Gotta go with Kanye. I, have, Kanye. I respect. No, that's super dope. I definitely love your sound and your flow. Do you feel like that's grown over time? Like, how long have you been doing music? I started doing music when I was probably about like 12, 13. My dad had a, the, the MPC 2000. So, like, once I started playing on that shit, um, it turned out my boy, who was like my closest friend, still to this day, 20 years ago. Wow. Well, yeah, he um he lived two houses down. I ended, we ended up coming to my crib, playing, making beats and shit on my dad's NPC. Ended up going down to his crib one day in uh, his father's basement, NPC, same one. Mm-hmm. So we just ended up doing that shit. He stopped making, he stopped rapping. I kept rapping. I perfected my um, my craft as far as rapping goes, and you know, here we are today. Hey, here we are today you know and what does it mean to you for it to be black history month and to be a black artist and to have a platform like how important is that to you it means everything um for me you know in a sense i, tr- I feel like i treat uh as far as artistically i treat every month like black history month because you know the the things i try to put in my music try to put out to is more so to uplift it ain't none of the you know like none of the extra things anything that the industry would push that's not like you know that's not my type of thing i want to put out i wanted people to be able to have messages you know what i'm saying and like you know i'm gonna keep it flying shit you know do all the cool everything but i want you to be able to pull something out of that and you know be able to move differently just from that 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 little line that little thought so I try to drop that in all my tracks, you know, just for just for us, you know what I'm saying? Because we go, we who go and understand it the most. Yeah, right. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. We need more <laughs> artists like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what can we look for next? Any music? <coughs> any shows? What's next? Oh for yeah, you? man. Um, I may be going on a tour in, in May. Okay. Maybe going on a tour in tour May. Tour coming um, soon, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Me and my brand, uh, Good Times Ahead, are running with my boy. Um, we gonna definitely be throwing some different shows. We had one last Saturday. Uh, so we definitely gonna be doing some things. And as for, for me this year, you know, I dropped multiple projects, but for me, I'm, um, I'm going single crazy this year. Okay. So one of them joints I, I did tonight, it's gonna be dropping this week, so. I look forward to hearing it. Yeah. Let's listen to some of these singles. Yes, yes, yes. It's your girl, Nova J. Wine G's. I don't know. Yes. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs>